guys feel down the ice? Yeah, I know that uh, first play there, Fells made a nice play entering the zone. He took the D-man and I just tried to shoot through the eyes and uh, got a lucky bounce there. And then uh, Pets did a good job on the second one there and he got it in front of Sammy there. And uh, like I said, everyone's been going well. And uh, the last goal there, I just happened to be in the right spot again and uh, just tried to shoot as quick as I could. Yeah, so huge win. What are you guys going to do going into Utah now? Yeah, no, I think uh, we have a really good team. We're uh, well-rounded from the forwards to the D to the goalie. Uh, I like our depth and uh, we're gritty too. We just got to wear them down. I think we wore them down there in the end. Uh, I think our D-men were a little tired. So uh, we just got to regroup here and go into uh, Utah and just uh, stay focused for the next 60 minutes. All right, Coach, well, congrats on the win. What were you seeing on the ice? Hey, we stuck to the plan. Um, you know, we had a, a pretty detailed video session this morning. Um, we went over a few things that we thought would separate us and um, I thought our guys executed that for 60 minutes and then beyond. Yeah, so a fantastic game from special teams. The penalty kill was called into action a bunch, and, and they answered. What did you see from that unit? Yeah, no, the penalty kill was outstanding. Um, you know, uh, I didn't agree with the five-minute major. Uh, I thought he got pushed in, but you know, either way, it kind of rallied our, our, our team, and um, you know, we were able to stand together and stand tall. And when we got that kill, we knew we uh, had a lot of momentum. So um, we wanted to make a push there. Uh, it was a good little face-off there on the Samuelson goal, and um, you know, it was a big goal to tie it. And then obviously, we just stayed the course through overtime. Much, much stronger defensive effort tonight, especially from Shoal. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, yesterday we talked about, you know, the confidence you had in him. You know, just how, how, how proud of you were you of the way he bounced back tonight? Oh, yeah, I thought he was great. I mean, you know, when you go back and review the goals from that first night, there's not. Uh, maybe one that we talked about him and I that he'd want back and then you know the other six we kind of left him out to dry so you know our confidence never waved um, that's why he started again tonight I thought he's been um, great all year he was great tonight and uh, obviously that was great for him to settle in what's the what's the difference of emotions from 24 hours ago to now like you know what we earned um, two points today uh, or the win um, you know where yesterday um, you know we did some things uncharacteristically uh, in the D zone that cost us uh, you know the opportunity for a win um, we were sharp um, you know, a big part of our process was, uh, you know, to be good at the start of our shift and good at the end of our shift, and I thought we did a good job of that. Was there kind of a sense of that third period that, you know, obviously, you know, you'd rather be tied 1-1 than be down 2-0, but was there a sense of urgency for that goal there in the third period? Yeah, you know what? I mean, we believed in the way we were playing, um, and when you're getting opportunities, you're getting chances, you know, we still have to kill three and a half minutes of a five-minute major to start the third, um, you know, so we had a little plan in the dressing room, you know, I thought we cycled the PK through pretty good, um, and to get that kill was big. Um, once we got back to five on five and were able to play, um, you know, I thought we did a real good job of you know sustaining some ozone time, um, you know, getting pucks to the area with some bodies around, and then you know ultimately it was a big body around the net and we put one in. 19 penalty minutes there in the second period, and it seemed like you guys never really got a chance to get a five on five in that period. Just how does that kind of slow down the offense? Yeah, you know what? I mean, especially when they go back and forth like that, and then when we had multiple kills in a row, um, you know, the one thing is it keeps you sharp, uh, and when you're mentally sharp. Um, you know, like I said, if you can get some kills, it can uh, give you a little momentum boost. Um, you know, but the flip side is, you know, we like to play five on five. Um, you know, we like to roll our lines. Um, we have depth in our lineup, and we like to roll them over consistently. So um, that was a little disruptive. But other than that, um, our bench was calm, our bench was composed, and then uh, they saw it through here uh, throughout the game. I think a pretty, if I'm not mistaken, a pretty clean third period for you guys, penalty wise. Yep. You know, after killing off that five minute, how much easier is it just kind of to play defensively? Yeah, I mean, I think you know we weren't. Um, you know, we weren't sitting on our heels in the third, so it wasn't really so much a talk of defense because we were down one, so we had to get a kill. Um, we just wanted to worry about getting a kill. Um, and then in turn, you know, once we got back to five on five, you know, then we needed to let our offense take over um, and execute some of our uh, ozone play. Yeah, so a big win, obviously, that's, you know, momentum booster. What's something you'd like to see the guys build on from tonight going into this next week against Utah? Well, I, I think, you know, as we progressed throughout the day, we learned the details. And we talked about playoff details this morning. Um, we had a real good video session on it. And I think, um, you know, you have to learn how to win. Uh, and I think today we took uh, the first step. So, um, you know, we'll get back to it here. We'll, we'll see some areas that we can, you know, stay the course with, see some areas that, you know, maybe we need to change or improve upon. Um, you know, but ultimately I think uh, the details of the game are, are what important this time of year.